I still work three years for Uncle Sam, full time, of course. Now I'm working part time. Juan Rubin came. I was stationed in Germany. I met my wife over there in Germany. She was there from Greece uh, working because they had a lot of contract workers at that time. And I got my discharge in Germany and I went to Greece. We got married and then come here. You get to meet oodles of people in here. Uh, you get to meet, yeah, all types of people, all types. Grecian burger all the way. No cheese. No cheese. About the, the best Greek place around. I got the best baklava in town. I want to make sure that everything works right, and it's good. Cordita, no tomato, sour sour cream. It's a great restaurant. I like the food here, and the service is impeccable. <laughs> Would that be all, man? At one time, I thought about expanding. I opened up a, a place in Clemens. But after a while, I sold it. I, I thought maybe it's better to be in one spot and keep you customers happy here than go chasing customers somewhere else. My employees. Uh, I like to keep the same employees for a long time. That's good. I'm trying to be good to them. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. What year? 16 years ago. I put you on the spot. Yeah. And I love my job. To me, it doesn't matter what you do, but it's a matter of who you work with that's going to make you happy or not at a job. Last year, I lost one of the best waitresses I've ever had. She was with me for 20 years. You have to be a people person to work at any restaurant or any grocery store, anything like that. You have to be a people person and know how to treat them. Okay, it's three ninety-five. If you don't enjoy to work in a restaurant, just like I said, you need to get another line of work. It grows on you after a while. I'm here ten hours a day, six days a week, so it's like a second home. I mean, I feel comfortable, relaxed. The people are great. I love the customers, and all the customers. Oh, my friends. Come in, you're comfortable. You know, you just sit back. You, you're not rushed. You sit here and drink your coffee and, you know, just take your time. I'm working in this job. It's my first job, and I like my job. It's, it's good. i learning many things because uh, when I come in here, I can understand many things. Now I, I think it, it's more better for me. Very small chicken and a chicken plate. By being a good worker, if you are a good worker, you're rewarded. Uh, if, uh, if a young man is, uh, he's got the work uh, ethic that he wants to work, he will get help to get ahead in his life. The restaurant is uh, no, no workers. It's for a family. I, I feed one family here, the same my family in Mexico. Here is no managers, no, no nothing special. Every team is exactly as you say, one family. <laughs> and I feel very, very good in my job. Nothing is hard. It's uh, busy. When it's busy, it's hard. But, but I don't think so. It's, nothing is hard. We're not here to be by ourselves. We are here to be with, to socialize with other people and to help other people. Uh, sometimes we can't help as much as we want to, but if you do something, it, uh, it makes you feel good that you've done something for your fellow man. So I had to like translate to modern Greek and then English. I have plenty of uh, nieces and nephews to spoil. I love this country, I serve this country, and I, uh, I'm going to live here for the rest of my life. But I want uh, our kids to keep their traditions. If somebody knows his roots, he's a better person for everybody. 
When I go to Greece, I bring pictures back. And I want people to see where I come from. So each, each menu has a different picture on it from Greece. I'm, uh, I come from a little town. It's in the central highlands of the, in Greece. It's called Marathia. Our little village has 10 churches and only about 50 houses. Three chicken plates. I came here in uh, 1955. I was 12 years old. And uh, uh, it was, I, I can't believe now that we rode 19 days and nights on a big boat. And I had my brother, he was nine and I was 12 by ourselves. We didn't really have any, uh, nobody that we knew on the boat. When we came here, we hardly ever saw any automobiles, any cars or uh, anything. They came here, they couldn't speak any English, so they washed dishes. So when they washed dishes, they start cooking in the grill. And from the grill, they become managers, and then they become, uh, they go into business. Most of our, uh, the guys that I had here from Greece, uh, they, they would come here, and I would give them a job. They could hardly, they wouldn't speak any English. And by the time they left here, they went to own their own restaurants. I've been lucky here. I have good customers, friendly customers, and I tried to, to bring a, a friendly atmosphere into my business. The first time I was here was probably when I was about six years old. There's been customers here uh, uh, coming in from high school, when they went to Reynolds High School. And now they bring their kids in here. And uh, you see the whole family is coming up. And that's satisfying. It's something that you can look back on and say, you know, I was there when I was a little kid, so 40 years from now when I come here, and maybe it's still here or not. You hear a guy says, hey, this is what I got my first taste of supply. Telling his child that, how to, 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 to taste the supply. Everybody gets along. George treats us as family. He's a very knowledgeable man. And just talking to him is, it's comfortable. It's very easy to talk to. He, I mean, he can talk to one of the bums under the bridge or one of the well-known lawyers that come from downtown, you know, just as easy. Respect is one of the, the mainstays of our community uh, in Greece and in here. George is a family person. He's a very good with the kids. He really does enjoy kids. You can see the sparkle in his eyes sometimes when the kids come in. And this has been proven. If a child sees it enough when they're young, they remember it when they grow up. Another supply plate. Chicken. I've enjoyed it. Uh, I, I don't know if what else would have done that have been more satisfying than being here in this restaurant. He's good to us. He is good to us. The people. It's got to be the people. George, the people, the atmosphere. And then, well, of course, one day will come the retirement. But I hope to find somebody to continue the restaurant on. For me, yours is a uh, nice people. We are here not to get as much as we can for ourselves, but we should be able to give to others, as uh, to help others. Okay, Marie. Bye-bye.